straight out of low cash. Crazy bro. What's up, yo? What's up? What's up? Welcome to Rap City. This is Joe Claire. And today I'm cooling with the college boys. Yeah. We out at the mall. We out at uh, PG Plaza. We're going to get us a little something to eat. We're going to go see the honeys. We just, yeah. you know, because they here in town. So we just going to vibe. We're going to tell y'all about the new album. Hey, mom. Hey, let me get it, let me get it right. Nothing less, nothing more. The new album from the College Boys, y'all can right. check it out. So stay tuned, we'll be back in Thank a couple God. of minutes, all right? Thank Thank God. God. All right. Thank God. In the house. Thank yeah, 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 welcome Hello. back to Rap City. Hi, it's Joe Claire with the College Boys. Talk to my man Squeak right quick. Hey, um, explain to us, like, kind of like your role, the role that Squeak plays in the College Boys. I mean, what's your, what's your contribution. How are you, the college boys? Well, my role is in the college boys. <laughs> no, there you go. <laughs> no, man, my role is like just to do the music, man, because like um, when me and Ron first hooked up, I was doing the beatbox. Right. You know, and before that, I used to sing. And so like, I always wanted to be in a singing group, but then like when, when the Fat Boys and all the rest of that came out, right. you know, I started beatboxing. And I was like, yo, I was doing that since I was a kid. You know, right. and then they got on record with it. I was like, yo, I could have been first with that, man. And then, um, you know, a bunch of guys got me up in the locker room, man, and they was like, yo, man, we heard you could beatbox. So I was like, no, I can't, I can't beatbox, yeah. man. I can't beatbox. But then, like, you know, I was a freshman in high school, and they just started to turn their backs on me, man. And I was like, dang, if I don't do this, man, these brothers, man. <laughs> oh, so like, you wanted yo. to be down. I wanted so to be that... down, so I just started beatboxing, man, and they hoisted me up, mm -hmm. took me to the middle of the commons area, man, and I just started beatboxing in, and then just from that day on, man, it just spread it across all the schools and stuff that Squeak could beatbox, you know? And you know, you had to battle back yeah, in the day. Cool. do all you that stuff, back you know? in the day. And you know, that's, that's where the... The, the heart and soul of what I do comes from because like it comes from the inner uh -huh. you know and it's like a lot of times I'll make music I don't even beatbox first it just comes from here just like if I if you started rhyming freestyle right. man I, I, I don't know <laughs> like if you started rhyming you I know I can just jokes but I ain't, I ain't freestyle <laughs> I can catch your style you know and I play right. more like musical I try to imitate you know instruments and stuff and so like that carries on to the tracks that I do because I like to do stuff that you know that has a feel to it, a bottom, just kind of right. full and fat. Like when it drops, you listen to it, you're like, yo, yeah. that's it right there. Right. And plus, I just like playing my own stuff, man. Something because to I hit figure, him in the head with. Yeah, I figure yeah. like this: if, if George Clinton and all the rest of them could play their music back in the day, we could play our music today. Word. You know that's what I mean? It. Because that's like it. sampling isn't the only thing that you could do. Because like when sampling goes out, how many other people are gonna drop out with it? Word. You know. But Did if I'm learning, that? I haven't taken any piano lessons or nothing like that. You know, I'm just going off of my own natural. Word. You know, so like. When I come up to do, you know, do my programming and stuff, I just feel everything out. Wow. And I'm kind of afraid to learn because I feel if I learn too much, play too good, and then it starts sounding like some R&B artists. It is, yo. We always give you the real right here on Rap City. Hey, man, let's push the cameraman down. Yeah, yo. man, let's just push it. What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, yo? What's we up? still just, what's up? just here chilling. Hey, hey, do me a favor. Grab, hey, somebody grab me something to eat, yo. I talk to my man right quick. Uh-uh. Yeah. Oh, now there you go. <laughs> now there you go. I'm saying, why you even gonna go there? Give me a, uh, I'll take a chitlin' sub, make me a chitlin' sandwich with extra black eyed peas. Yeah, hey, let me get the money. Hey, for real, hit me up, give me a, um. Yeah, I'm I mean, gonna pay for my food too, man. Yeah. Uh, what you want, man, what you want, what you want? What you want? <laughs> <laughs> Now, y'all starting that college stuff up, right? <laughs> we in college, we ain't got no money. Y'all starting that all up. I'm saying, just... Nah, matter of fact, give me my money. I get it my own stuff. What money? When I, when I, now, there y'all go. We just chilling. We just chilling here. We, um, cool to my man Q. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I want to get into, like... What's like, what's like your role in the group, you know what I'm saying? Okay, my role is basically this, man. You know, back in the days, R&B groups had like backup singers, right? You know what I'm saying? And back in the day, LL had his hype man. You know what I'm saying? My main function is basically on stage, you know what I'm saying? The stage show. So you like Flavor Flav meets the Blue Notes. Exactly. But, you know what I'm saying? So but, you be, you know, like all that stuff. Right, but I still kick a little bit of lyrics on the album, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I still write a little bit. Right. You know what I'm saying? But in the stage show, you know, I'm right. I, I got some. And y'all got a dope stage show. Man. That's what that's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Cause you seen Colin Boy stage show. Uh, I home. saw y'all on the um the, the the step show joint. Yeah. The step show, the national step show joint. If you don't remember, go back and look at it. You see the college boys, see my man Q here and all that other stuff. Hey, um, I ain't gonna front, dude. You know, I'm sitting there next to you. 
Dr. McDoom, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's and so that's why I'm like trying to get my questions just right. Yeah. So, you get know, next right, time y'all see me on Rap City, I'll be like, <laughs> welcome back to the Rap City. You know, my lip be all busted and big and everything, but I mean, it's all good. Um, how you feel about, like, where the college boys is going? This new album, this new project, the whole now. Man, I think it's, I think it's dope. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, you hear a lot of hip-hop music, and there's a lot of categories of hip-hop music. You know what I'm saying? And it's all good. Because back in the days when I was listening to Curtis Blow, yeah. it was musical. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Curtis yeah. Blow was musical. And you got to change with time and develop. And that's what we have done from the last album to this one. We developed. You know what I'm saying? Because the last album, you couldn't pinpoint and say, well, this is a particular direction. You know, there was there was songs heading in the direction that this album is in, but the whole album wasn't in that direction. Right, so now y'all got Now you. we got some direction. You know what I'm saying? And it's dope. It's fat. Not as much reggae as I would like on it, but you know. Why? We agree. Well, I'm saying, what's your, what's your, what's your, what's your like, favorite reggae stuff? So, I can't understand that reggae. Tosh. See, I didn't even understand Peter what you Tosh. just said. Peter Tosh. I'm just messing with you. Yeah, you understand I'm what saying, I said. But I, I don't understand, like, like... You understand? You, I'm serious. When you, you sitting here trying to tell me right here today on Rap City That's right. that when you sit down and Shaba Ranks, or not even Shaba, Buju, is on, and he's booty, you understand what he's saying? I understand what he's saying. Every yeah. word. Not every single word. Uh, nah, I, 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 I got to listen to the album. I got to listen to the album a couple of times. But I grew up on Roots Reggae. You know right. what I'm saying? There's a right. difference. You right. know what I'm saying? Dance hall is kind of like rap. It's uh -huh. the same thing, but it's Jamaican rap. You know what I'm saying? Right, and right. the root stuff is like Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, oh, Gregory man. Isaac, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And Peter Tosh, they bullshit out there that my man, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yellow, what's, what's Yellow Man category? Yeah. He kind of, he started the, he started all that dance hall shit. All right, you know what I'm cool. saying? That uh, cool. All right, well, we about to get something to eat, you know, because this big dude here, yeah, well, got to have his nourishment, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this I'm, is rap Yo, shit. man, I'm going to train you one of these days, man, because you have some flab on your hey, stomach. Hey, yeah, I, I ain't going to front. I don't you work out, yo. You, you need some stomach, yo. You know, he, 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 I seen that slab yeah, over there, you know what I'm saying? Oh, superhero I'm gonna type. Have to hook you know what I'm up, saying? Man. Wait, I'm gonna have to hook you up. Yeah, word, word, <laughs> word. Up. Look, this is he gonna get. He, what you buying him, man? Some chitlins? Words. That's what I need, B. No, That's man. good food. No, Look, no. this is Rap City. <laughs> College boys, y'all stay tuned. We'll <laughs> be right back. All right. Yeah. Please, wait to go. <laughs> Yeah, what's up? Welcome back to Rap City. It's me, Joe Clay. I'm still kick, kicking it with the college boys. Right what's up, now, what's up? we're going to um, talk about the new album. Let's talk about the new project. The name of the project is College Boys. Nothing less, nothing more. Oh, First of all, yeah. let's get into what, is, what does that mean? What, is the, um, what not, does that mean? Not, nothing, less, nothing less, nothing more. Nothing less, nothing more is just basically what it is. It is uh, nothing less than the truth, nothing more than the truth. You know, you get a lot of people out there coming out projecting the image of, of, of what they think is supposedly the bandwagon to be on, you know? Right, right. Be it gangsterism or whatever it is. And, you know, for our situation, we give you nothing less, nothing more than the truth. So we pretty much just come to you on the real, on the raw, giving you what college, what represents college boys, you know? We've been through all kind of jacked up situations. I'm sure there's people out there, you know, where your, 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 your um, pops beat your moms or you was in a situation where you got involved in drugs or drug selling. That's what this album is about. It's about stuff that we go through growing up and things that we go through now, the business that we're involved in, what it's like on the road, you know, how to catch women, you know what I'm saying, how to avoid women, how to run game, how to juggle. It's everything. Everything about life is on this album. Nothing less, nothing more than the truth. We don't fabricate it, you know what I'm saying? It's all real. Word, word. What's the, um, let's talk about, what's the difference between this album, this project, and the last project, I mean, what, what different vibe, is something else going on? Yeah. You know, give it to us. Um, I say on this album, for one, that we got to be a lot more true to ourselves. Because on the first album, me and we were new in the industry, we were kind of afraid that we wouldn't make a song, something that pleased the record industry and everybody. As opposed to this album, we don't care who we please, we want to please ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Right. We got to start being true to us. And like, right. e everything on our album is really just some old Southern stuff. If you want to know how, how they slang dope, down south, it's on the record. If you want to know how to lay in the cut down south, it's on the record. If you want to know what kind of Mac you need when you down south, it's on the record. You want to know how we roll, it's on the record. And as opposed to our last album, we were really looking for it. We were really trying to keep a commercial edge for the satisfaction of the record company. Not saying that we don't like commercial music, I'm just saying that this time it's a, it's a better blend. It's not as one-sided. Cool. Yeah, and we did a lot more of the production. Word. Check it.
check this out. Like, it's, 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 I got to listen to some of the album. I got to listen to some of the cuts. Some of the cuts is fat, yo. I didn't, I didn't, I haven't heard the whole album. I ain't gonna front. I haven't heard the entire album. Some of them cuts had me open, but I ain't gonna front. Thanks, man. Some of them jokes with the, the slow, what was the one I was talking to you about? The moment of If I was, nah, if I was a bird. Oh, yeah, you know, okay. Yeah. That track is like, you know, it's like, yeah. It's even really nice and slow. That you, I, I like who 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 did that one. You did that one. No, I, I did that one. one. I did that did one. It. Yeah, I like that. Thanks, job. man. If I was if I was a bird, it's like it was just one of those. See, in Texas, man, we like the joint to be slow. Yeah. And then what you put on top of it's got to be real. You can't fabricate nothing in Texas. Mm -hmm. So you got to be. So the best way to approach that is to be straight to the point. And right. that's basically what's going on right there. It's just straight to the point. Give me a sticking groove and let me kick what I'm saying. Yeah. Senator Graham, cracker, slash comedian actor. You know, yeah. you know how it goes, Boom. whatever the hell, you know. Yo, and that's why it took us so long, because we was out like about two years ago, and it took a little minute because we had to do it ourselves because like nobody else could really cop our style. And so we had to go into the lab and create our own sound, like where we was coming from. It's like, yo, bro, I feel this uh -huh. in the type of music I want to do, so I want to do this. And Rum's like, I want to write this, I want to write it this way. Right. And it's like, we've been together for so long, man, for like 10 years, to where it's like, it just clicked because like me and him always beatbox together and it was just, you know, hand in hand. And so like when we got equipment, it just went the same way, hand right. in hand. And we could, we were the only two who could cop our style. Right. But now since we could put stuff out there that's, that's on the album and stuff, people can hear what type of music we do.